set you up for the next race on the course. That's the Division One girls. They're ranked number five in the state, Rancho Cucamonga. Box 9A, Great Oak. They won seven straight titles from 2012 through 2018. Long Beach Poly, fifth in the southern section. Ranked number four in the state in this division, Santiago of Corona, led by sophomore Riley Blade, who is third in the southern section. The number one ranked team in the state in this division, number three in the U.S. They are the two-time defending champions. Buchanan of Globus, Quartz Hill of Lancaster, seventh in the southern section. The Sac Joaquin runners up, Davis. This is their tenth straight state meet. The second in the Central Coast, Mountain View. North Coast champions, Doherty Valley and Torrey Pine. Second placer in San Diego section Tessa Buswell of Poway, the number two ranked team in the state, Clovis North, Oak Ridge of El Dorado Hills, third in the Central Coast, Watsonville, the sits in the southern section, Santa Monica, the San Diego section champions, Del Norte. On your march. Here we go, girls division one, California state championship. And our defending champs peppered through that lead group as they come to the mile. Buckley, Hutchinson, Lamelli, all right in there for Buchanan. Smith of Quartz Hills, Buswell out of Poway in San Diego, and Blade of Santiago through that first mile. We're at 528. That's a pretty quick pace. And using that dam, he'll open up a little bit of a lead. This is Grace Hutchinson of Buchanan. She was 1149 with a mile to go. Lamelli. She was right at 12. Bustle right there. Riley Blade still in there. And then Buckley, Cornette, also of Buchanan. Looks like Ray Hutchinson, the senior, trying to go out with a state championship as an individual. Oh, my! Tessa Buswell, what a great last 400. The junior from Poway will be the California State. Division one champion, Hutchinson will finish second, Blade in third. Jalen Williams of Eastlake, also a freshman, finishing well. Buchanan with two across, Benham. Buchanan now with three. This is the fourth girl from Buchanan, crossing under 18. And up front, we had those big four for Buchanan. Clovis North now with two across. And here comes number five. Sundgren will finish as the fifth and give Buchanan the state title again. So Buchanan will easily win. It'll be a good battle here for second. Oak Ridge, Torrey Pines, Great Oak, Clovis North. Right in here, this is the battle. Oak Ridge, Torrey Pines, El Norte, and Great Oak with four across. Ten individuals. First of all, from Corvus North, finishing 10th, 17th, 54th, 10th last year, 10th this year, and 10th year. Yes, the great team, 17th, 37th, Taylor to Rosemary. Last year, eight this year, 1746, signed with Utah State from Quartz Hill, Brianne Smith. From Mental Altitude, fifth place, excuse me, seventh place, running 1745, Tatum Olsen. Yes, the sophomore from Santa Monica, running 1745 also. Bennett. In fifth place, from New Cannon, common theme here, 1741, a sophomore, Sierra Cornette. And then we're going to join in the podium in 1738, from Eastlake, Jalen Williams. From Santiago Corona, the Sharks running 17-36, just the sophomore, Riley Blaze. Yeah! 
the senior from Buchanan, running 17.30. She signed with BYU, Ray Hutchinson. And moving up from 15th to Division II last year to your California State Division I champion from Poway of San Diego, running 17.25, Tessa Buswell. How does it feel to be a state champion? You know, I haven't really processed that whole state big win thing. I think it's amazing, super surreal. You know, I worked super hard throughout this whole season, and I just knew that if I put myself in the conversation, that I could, you know, come out with the big race today. Yeah, so I ran it last year. I got 15th in D2, and so it was a huge step up to be in D1. And then to win D1, that was an even bigger accomplishment. I, I was seated sixth, so I didn't really think I was going to win today, but just trying to go out there and just be motivated, put myself in a good spot to finish well, and yeah, I think I did that. And running has had a huge impact on my life. I mean, even at school, I'm kind of known as like the girl that runs, or like that runner girl, and I put blood, sweat, tears, everything into my running and just worked super hard throughout the entire season and like even my whole life like I started running when I was like 9 or 10 and so you know just to be here and get this big one today is super surreal and awesome. It's a huge accomplishment. Awesome. Thank you. Justin. Yeah, thank you. How does it feel to be state champion? Good. Really good. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, really exciting. It's because there's more people and like it's a bigger like atmosphere. It's a state meeting. Like, it's a big deal. But other than that, like we're pretty used to this course and know it pretty well. So yeah. And what was your mentality going into this race? I think we just wanted to run as a team and for the team. So just being positive for each other. So, yeah. yeah awesome. Just working together and continuing to push ourselves and stay confident. It's been a really long season, so I think we really just needed to work as a team. We know it's been pretty challenging for all of us. I mean, even today was pretty hard for some of us, but it just proves like. Uh, getting to train together every day and getting to be around each other every day really helps build a super strong team and the closer you are as a team I feel like the better the results you get because of the trust and all the things that go into the race and it's so much more than an individual sport. One, two, three! 